The question is, why are the inner planets small and rocky while the outer planets are large and gaseous? Um, Jupiter might read inward, but Jupiter forms out in the cold and take and catch a lot of gas moving inward, and it caused rocky material to go inward, destroying the inner planets. Then, then, what Saturn formed, pulling Jupiter back out, and also Jupiter and also Saturn migrated out, and. And because of that, because of those correlations, the inner planets formed, and and there wasn't as much gas left around for the for the the new planets to take up, and our old six. Super Earths gave way and they brought their hydrogen and helium with them, so there's not as much hydrogen and helium on Earth, and that's how the and that's why the outer planets, the inner planets are so rocky, and the outer planets are more made out of gas. So, you're saying the inner planets formed first and then migrated in and used up no. all of the solid materials uh, so no. there wasn't as much left for the other planets? Um, not exactly. Jupiter migrated inward. Not, not the first, not the, not the planets that were formed a little bit before Jupiter that had hydrogen, mostly hydrogen and helium in their atmosphere. Which ones have hydrogen and helium? The Six, the old six super earths. Old six super earths. Yeah. There's more than one earth. Uh, no, they they got they got dropped in the sun. Oh. So there were planets before the planets. Yeah, basically there were planets before the planets, but one planet back then didn't get destroyed from from the thirty planet pileup of Mars and its planets. That planet was Mars. So Mars is one of the old ones? Yes. Okay. But that still doesn't explain why the inner ones are rocky and the outer ones are gas. I just explained it. That's why. Why? Because the old ones used it up? Yeah. Almost. Almost used all of it up. Okay. So there just wasn't enough mass. There wasn't enough particles left for the outer planets to condense and form solid rock planet. Not the outer planets, the inner planets. Inner, but I thought the inner ones were rocky. Yeah, but but they but they're kind of relatively small. Right. And Mercury got hit by a grain and Clendon, mostly taking away its mantle. So that's why Mercury is the smallest. But Mercury has a massive core. So and the core generates heat and then, and then the heat um, that's kind of moving around the molten core, um, it kind of creates a magnetic field and because of all that heat spinning around, it creates a little bit of strong magnetic field. But it's kind of like... The heat creates magnetic field? I thought it was something to do with the motion. Yeah, the motion and the spinning and the movement in the core. Oh. So then why are the outer planets gas? Because they formed before the other planets formed. Hold up. I thought you said they formed after. They formed before, but Jupiter was just stuck there. Then started migrating. So they all started out as gas, but then some of them migrated in. And no, not some of them. Only no, Jupiter. Only Jupiter. Yeah. Saturn well, what about the other solid ones? Um, the other solid ones, they got hit in collisions, except for Mars and Mercury, but Mercury got hit in a great collision, 
which knocked off almost all of its mantle. So they all were one and due to collisions broke off. And so all the solid planets are just versions of each other? Not really. <laughs> Not really. Not really. And the six super Earths sky dropped into the sun. Okay, clearly I still have a lot to learn.